Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Commander Hall. Hopefully you guys is having a great night right now. I'm on patrol. Uh, just finished having me a little lunch and I figured I'd go back out um, and do some more vehicle patrols. But real quick in this video, guys, I want to piggyback off a video that Sean had uh, recently released. Um, it's about another officer who um, we have lost recently. Uh, it's, it's definitely a fortunate situation. And I like to start off by saying that my heart goes out to the family. It's never easy when you lose a loved one. So um, my condolences go out to the family and we all should rally together and let's be praying for this family. And um, it's just unfortunate, like I said. Uh, guys, um, again, like I said, I want to piggyback in this video, guys, because... Um, Let's face it, guys. Um, I know I may sound like a broken record, like I'm repeating myself a lot, guys, but I just can't stress enough uh, how important it is to know what and what not to do. Um, uh, and it comes with time and it comes with training. And, and let's face it, some things you can't be trained. Some things you just have to just do um, in the heat of the moment. Uh, but one thing I always tell my guys and um we have some situations um, that happens like that all the time, guys. You know, uh, motels, apartment complex, uh, especially in the Section 8 community. But, you know, domestic can happen anywhere, guys. But um, I always tell my guys we have to be smart because in law enforcement, one thing I remember learning uh, when I went through uh, the process in the academy is that you don't never want to approach certain situations alone. And even though we're not law enforcement, uh, like I always tell you guys, you know, you guys can agree or disagree, but we are the first responders until the first responders get there. Um, but we have to use this, you know, and we have to be smart with our actions and what we do. But just like those guys, and when I say those guys, I mean law enforcement, just like those guys wouldn't respond to certain calls or do certain things alone, we shouldn't as well. Now, I know a lot of times uh, the client only pays for one officer. Uh, to be on each job site and it's unfortunate that we can't have two or maybe three um, but guys if you are alone and you come across some domestic do not approach that situation alone do the same thing what law enforcement officers would do you know get on your cell phone call um, let them come take care of that um, if you have another security officer nearby or two Maybe you can radio those guys in just to have uh, that extra presence, just to have that backup, just in case things go south. But you never want to approach that situation alone, guys. Um, some of you guys, I was reading some of the comments, and some of you guys made some good uh, points, man. You know, um, when those guys going back and forth, you know, the last thing they want is for one of us to come in and for them to feel like we're telling them what to do. And that may not be the situation, but it may come across that way, and then they may – after that, they may up the violence, you know, so instead of de-escalating, it may escalate, you know, even though that's not what we're doing, you know, so you definitely want to be smart. You definitely want to be careful. And most importantly, guys, you don't want to approach a situation like that by yourself. Um, there's a lot of situations, like I can say, don't approach by yourself. But when they come up to domestic guys, uh, even street fights and things of that nature, guys, you don't want to approach those things by yourself because things could go south very fast and uh it's just not worth it so again my condolences and my prayers go out to that family and for us that steer here we have to make sure that we train hard um and that we be smart when we out on duty and um because like i always say guys my ultimate goal is to make it home uh to see another day you know so uh again guys watch your six be smart make sure you have your backup and that's it for this video, guys.